Hello Pisces, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 23rd of January until the 29th of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the five of wands. Finally, there will be an end of conflict, tension and competition of some sort. It is impacting your ability to move forward with your goals. Rather than being able to work together with others, you are coming up against it and are constantly being challenged on your point of view. The trouble is that everyone is trying to express their point of view and opinions but no one is listening, and so there is little progress. There is only conflict, and there is little or no value in the discussions that are occurring. Similarly, this card is representative of a group of people who are committed to an end but they cannot fully agree on how to implement this goal, as each has their individual agenda as to how to bring this to fruition. Aim to turn this into constructive conflict by allowing each person to openly share their thoughts but then listen to other people's thoughts. Once everyone has been heard and all opinions have been considered, determine the best path forward. The Five of Wands encourages an enthusiastic approach to change. Change is coming, whether you like it or not, however your challenge will be in ensuring that everyone is on the same page and is focused on dealing with this change constructively and positively. Currently, there is scattered energy resulting from misdirected enthusiasm. Everyone has many ideas but no one is that to bring them into one consistent path forward. Your role may be in identifying a clear strategy and purpose that can be implemented by all involved. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Page of Swords. What do you want most right now is to get started on a new project or an idea, and to share that with others. You start all new projects, ventures and journeys with a huge amount of energy and excitement. The challenge, however, is whether you can keep it up. As with all pages, the beginning always looks promising but something else is needed in order to maintain the pace. There are always going to be challenges with whatever option you choose and not everyone is going to be happy with your choices but when it comes down to it, you need to follow your passions and go where your true energy lies. This page encourages you to move forward and to get the wheels in motion, despite any challenges or setbacks that may potentially stand in the way. This card shows you as a young and idealistic person, with lots of plans and ideas for the future. At this moment, you feel as though you could do almost anything. As a page, you are just beginning to make your way in life, and it is important that you align with others who will not overwhelm you or stifle your direction and ideas. Instead, seek to align yourself with people who will nurture your ideas and will help you to manifest them in an organized manner. Choose a relationship that feels natural, with someone who will learn and grow along with you and give you a chance to develop your own personality and expression. You have an intelligent and sensitive nature, and you may suffer a lot if there is no outlet for your ideas and feelings. 
the Page of Swords has the ability to find out the truth regarding all matters by asking all the important questions. However, he lacks experience and maturity, so his questioning and probing may become annoying to others as he constantly asks why question mark nonetheless, he has both mental and physical agility and is full of anticipation, making him an avid learner and an excellent student. The Page of Swords is also all about communication, information and ideas. This card is an indication that you need to appreciate and communicate ideas, information and theories. These ideas, information and theories may be your own or someone else's. It does not really matter, so long as you are involved in talking, sharing and conversing with others about these ideas. You are always coming up with something new and then finding someone to share it with. You also have a way with words, being a good writer or speaker, and you are passionate about what you are doing. However, be careful that you do not engage in gossip. While this page loves to talk and to be in the know, it is important that you use this talent to benefit others, rather than to create negativity. You may also want to be careful about what you say to whom, as you may be more prone to sharing confidential information about yourself. So, protect your privacy. And you may need to first ground your thoughts, before speaking, in order to ensure that you do not later regret what you have said. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Ten of Cups. You are afraid and may have been hoping for some special time with a loved one but it feels as if everything is falling apart at the seams. You may be quarreling, not spending enough quality time together or not really respecting or caring for each other. Your hopes of a harmonious relationship are being thwarted, for now. Aim to treat each other with respect and love in order to restore harmony and peace to your relationship focus on how you can treat others with compassion and respect, in order for them to eventually follow suit and give you the same treatment. This card can also highlight when there is a misalignment of personal values. You are not living by your personal values and you are not being true to yourself. You are allowing others to determine what will and will not make you happy rather than looking within for that source of fulfillment. As a result, you are questioning whether you really believe in what you are doing. While you are madly rushing around trying to get things done, it is also very important that you address any lingering issues of values alignment with what you are doing, otherwise this may become a showstopper later down the track. In term of your relationship, you are neglecting your family while you pursue more material goals such as progressing your career or making more money. Your work, life balance is out of whack and you are spending less and less quality time with your family. You need to be clear about where your personal values lie and what is truly achievable. If you continue to neglect your family, you will find that relationships will suffer and you may not be able to achieve an overall sense of contentment and happiness as planned. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is the Page of Wands. You are experiencing a creative restlessness within you that is just waiting for some sort of expression, or, you may be on the verge of some sort of discovery or new phase of life. The Page of Wands represents the sudden creative spark that comes to you, suddenly and unexpectedly, and that starts you down the road of a new creative vision. Thus, he encourages you to express yourself and your individuality with light-hearted abandon. Listen to your unconscious mind and follow your creative urges, even if you are worried about being the lonely voice crying out in the wilderness. With persistence and a balanced perspective even the immature desires of the Page of Wands can be transformed into a beautiful creative vision that can change the world. You need to be positive and spontaneous but not overly impulsive. Your enthusiasm impresses others but if you become impatient or quick to anger or lose interest, 
you will put others offside and you will waste time in your creative projects. With the Page of Wands, you are inclined to give anything and everything a go. If you are enthusiastic or passionate enough, you embrace the opportunity to start out on a new journey or project and see where it takes you. You do not necessarily have a solid plan in place, nor do you really know where you are headed but you do know that you are excited about the possibilities. You are enjoying being busy and involved in various activities and projects. You like the freedom of being able to choose what you will work on today, and hopefully it is different from what you worked on the day before. Oftentimes, the Page of Wands is a messenger, bringing you inspiring or unexpected news, new information or a welcome surprise. It may be the birth of a child, a new and inspiring idea that a friend has, or a new opportunity for you to be involved in to change the world such as a community project. His news is nearly always positive and welcomed because it is often associated with change and creation. The Page of Wands may also represent someone you know or who is about to enter your life. He is a trusted friend who is devoted to your interests and will do everything he can to help you. His intentions will be honorable and genuine. He is here in your life to spark change, to help you see the world from a new perspective and to guide you towards a new approach. While you may look to this page as an amateur or childlike presence, he actually has a lot to offer you if you open yourself up to the possibilities that he shares with you. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the King of Cups. You may be struggling with self-deception and or the deceptions of others, and the most important thing in this situation is to see yourself and others as they actually are, with clear and loving eyes but not foster any sense of dependence or weakness through your own actions. In term of your personal relationship, you feel quite confused about your relationship and your emotions are out of balance and out of control. You are uncertain about your true feelings, and every day they seem to chop and change, leaving you completely confused. You need to be careful, too, about the messages you are sending to your partner as he or she may become easily confused too if you are up one day and down the next. It is probably best to keep some distance now until you work out your feelings and are more in control of your emotional state. Finally, you need to take greater control and responsibility for your emotional state. Right now, you are a loose cannon, letting your emotions rule and flip-flopping from one point of view to another. You want to take charge of your life but then you are waiting for the universe or for fate to show you the way. You need to be more accountable for your emotional well-being. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Queen of Pentacles. You will be able to live independently, with a stable income and with enough time and space to also nurture your family and loved ones. You may be trying to create a better balance between your home and work lives, giving it your all in both domains and trying not to compensate one for the other. At the same time, you are also able to find time to invest in yourself and ensure that you have enough me time in between all of your other commitments. The Queen of Pentacles represents prosperity and security. She suggests that you have worked hard to generate a level of financial or physical security which, in turn, gives you the ability to be generous with others and to share your wealth and prosperity with those you love. You have used your financial prosperity to build a comfortable home environment and you are focused on investing in your family, as well as your personal wealth. This queen asks you to maintain a compassionate, nurturing, practical and down-to-earth attitude when it comes to dealing with others and your present circumstances. You need to focus on creating a calm and balanced life for yourself. 
you need to be resourceful and practical, dealing with issues as they arise and coming up with realistic and simple solutions that fix the problem with minimal fuss. The Queen of Pentacles is also able to find a use for everything in the home, and is very handy and versatile. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Wheel. The angels sent you this card because of positive changes occurring in your life. Expect and enjoy beneficial new opportunities as they present themselves. This is an optimal time to make big and small changes. Take the leap with the knowledge that everything will work well for you. Old blocks are lifting, and everything now moves forward quickly. If recent events shook your faith, ULL now see how they were actually positive for you. Rapid advancement is likely now. Additional meanings of this card, good luck. A happy accident. Balanced karma. A miracle. A twist of fate. Destiny. Archangel Michael is the supreme protecting angel who walks beside you through changes, giving you courage, strength, and self-confidence. Call upon Michael whenever you deal like specific guidance about your next step, especially if it is connected to your life purpose or spiritual path. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.